had one guy on a first my first date. <clears throat> I met him off of I think it was Plenty of Fish or um, Bumble. He asked me my credit score. It's no accident that sounds like you're leveling up in a video game. 48% of 18 to 29 year olds have an online dating profile. Make them work for it. 45% of people say they're more frustrated with this form of dating than hopeful. There are so many people you can connect with. Should I swipe right? Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. Setting the record straight on dating apps. Everyday people telling everyday stories of the swipe right world with your host, Chaos. Well, I know he had a good time. <laughs> the show that is number one in every single divorce attorney's office right now, and probably last week and the week before, and probably for the next couple of months, because everybody's listening to see, hey, was that somebody I know? Is that somebody I should know about? Is that a potential? Is that a potential customer or client that I could get on my side? Yes. You know that's what they're doing. Oh, welcome to Swipe Wrong Podcast. I'm Chaos. I'm your host to take you through this journey. Well, so far, what? The nine-week journey? And uh, we'll be going through uh, another week after this to uh, finish the ride for season one. And as we get ready for season two, which hopefully will be starting after the first of the year, uh, at the end of the show, you know, we tell you where you can reach out, tell your stories, uh, leave a voicemail. If you just want to leave a voicemail, there's a number there we won't answer. You can just leave a voicemail and let us know if you want us to get back to you and talk or if you just want to leave your story on that. That's perfectly fine. We have one of those uh, as well. So really like the whole focal point was uh, going out, uh, meeting people and realizing that a lot of people just thought this was only happening to them. And I know I've talked about it many times before. I just want to make sure I get this out as we're wrapping up uh, uh, season one that uh, you're not, you know, you're not the only one. Like you're not scarred for life that this is this is it. Now, granted, uh, it does feel like sometimes the quality of dates are really, really low and like we're shooting for normal as opposed to epic. Hopefully, Epic comes your way. I mean, like just because we have this here and there's some some amazingly funny stories. I'm sure you've laughed and you've cried a little bit throughout some of this uh, first season uh, or cried laughing. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But, you know, this is you know, there's some good ones out there, too. It's just so much easier to find the bad and laugh. And also, like, here's your support group. You know, swipe wrong is a part of your support group. We're trying to. Uh, get season two started in between season one and season two we'll have content not at like as we did these interviews we didn't take the entire interview except for maybe two that I can think of and play them as an entire episode we cut a lot of clips out so we'll have some that'll that'll carry through and then there's something else that Jay and I are working on uh, that uh, will kind of also go into um, the same content and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy as well uh, this interview I was pretty as a, as all of them, I'm excited to do all of these. Like I just like even even last week's episode, or I'm sorry, two weeks ago, uh, when I, I didn't even know the young lady, and we had an amazing conversation. It was great. It was really really cool uh, to know her for the first time and just to get to hear her story with fresh eyes. It was really really cool. This one, she just uh, this this band of bad dates uh, that she had just. Uh, I just couldn't believe it. Like this one truly was like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? So with that being said, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy, put your feet up, grab your popcorn. And if you're in traffic, don't hit that person next to you. You're not covered for that. And enjoy the Mattress King. And one more word, of course, from the quote unquote legal department. Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speaker and do not necessarily reflect the views or opinions or any entities they represent. This podcast is about dating experiences. It is not to say one dating app is better or worse than another. So you've been single for a year. Did you have you been on the sites for a year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And when we talked... Like you said, then you're like, Hey, I'm like cursed or whatever. I get all of them. And then like, I was sitting there, I'm like, you know, everybody I've been out with says that 
I believe it from you though. <laughs> now, yeah. now I believe it. Now I'm like, oh, she really is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because you're That's completely off the fucking sites point. now, right? You're, I mean, Nothing other good. than this farmers only shit that you're going to go to. <laughs> That's right. Nothing good comes out of swiping right. Okay. <laughs> Just swipe wrong. <laughs> That's, that's, that's. But like, and even then, that was like months ago we talked and um, and seriously, like back then. OK, look, I'm going to shut up because you have to tell you have to tell about the dude in the sheets and all. You got to tell about that guy. You got to tell how it started and then just how it progressed. And oh, my God, you got to tell it. <laughs> OK, so, I was, you know, just we were texting and like I was getting to know this guy and he's just like, <clears throat> I'm a virgin. He said, that, you know, I got to tell you something. I'm a 30, 33, or 34 year old virgin. I was like, no way. Where'd you no. meet him? I mean, what, what site? I'm sorry. Huh? What site did you meet him on? Facebook dating. Okay. Okay. And we're, you know, we're just talking like, and he's not ashamed to tell me anything. And I, did I even meet him yet? Maybe I did. I don't know. Um, but I said, so you've never had sex with a woman. And he was telling me all these different things he knows. And I was like, how do you know that? He goes, porn. And I said, okay, so you jack off. And he was like, no, I can't do that. I said, then how do you please yourself? He's like the corner of my, my bed. I said, well, you don't want to use your hand. He goes, no, that just aggravates me. It frustrates me. So I just humped the corner of my bed. <laughs> like I'm in disbelief. Okay. Like that just did not. I'm in happen. disbelief. I'm over here in disbelief too. All right. Just so we're clear. We're all in there. I'm told you are. The corner, like, so would he like the corner, like, like on, did he like get explicit, like on top or like mattress between box spring or did he, did he elaborate at all? He didn't. He just said he humps the corner of his bed. Oh my God. And he said humps too, didn't the, he? And virgins yes, all say humps, humps, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I kissed, we went on a date and whatnot and I kissed him and he all down his pants. <laughs> I mean, he just... <laughs> You kissed him and he had to excuse himself, didn't he? Yeah. To go clean up. No, he told me. He's like, look at this. Look what you just did to me. And his whole front of his pants were wet. He did not excuse himself. He said, look at this. Yes. <laughs> and you want, like, seriously, what did you say? 32? That's how old he was? Or is? 33, 30. Yeah, 33, 34. I think he's how 33. Was, how was the date? Let me let me let me not make fun of him for a second. How was the date with him? Oh my God. The conversation was great. You know, he's funny. Um, and he tells me he lives with his mom and dad because he can't be alone. Wow. Okay. So goes to kiss me. And I kid you not right there in the parking lot. I felt like I kissed like a toddler because what? he, the way he kissed me, like I, 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 I can't even explain it to you. I didn't have to show you. He's like, he was trying to eat my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, slow down, Romeo, slow down. This is how you kiss. And he's like, well, I'll need you to show me because I want to get better. He couldn't even kiss. All right. So he tries to eat your face and then you and then you show him how to kiss. And then he busts all over himself. Is that I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it. And then he says, look what you did or made me do. Yeah. Yeah. No shame in his game. I'll give him that. Yeah. No, he had no shame. No, he's just like, he said women hump stuff, too. And I was like, <laughs> uh, I said, well, hold on. I said, who told you that? Because that's not normal. He goes, oh, I see it all the time on porn and this and that. I said, dude, look, I'm a woman. I'm a 41 year old woman. I have never in my life humped anything other than a dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm afraid your boy is thinking porn is reality TV. I think that's what he's like misinterpreting it as. That's that's like my only guess right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, women do it too. I used to on TV, so it must be real. All right. So am I wrong? And or over something? Did you date for a little bit? We about a, maybe a month. Yeah. But then he he told me I he's like I probably should have told you this from the beginning, but. I want kids and uh, it just don't work out. Let's, you know, can we be friends and blah, blah. And I was like, okay. And then we just went our separate ways. So you, are you still friends though? I wouldn't say friends, you know, text here and there. Hey, hope you're doing well. Do you send them how's the corner of your bed doing or anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs>
<laughs> no. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. <laughs> well, I mean, like you could. I mean, he'd probably tell you. I mean, it's there's like we said, there's no shame in that that dude's game. So I'm sure he'd no, be happy not- to let you know what's happening. Yeah. All right. But you have more. Like there is like I like you kept telling me about him. Like, I can't believe this keeps happening to you. Yes. I had one guy on a first my first date. <clears throat> I met him off of I think it was plenty of fish or um bumble he asked me my credit score <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing more romantic than that yeah the next day what's your credit you know can you help me get a car or i had a bmw and he wanted me to give him my bmw and i was like dude i've only known you a day you're not my husband we're not even official you want my credit score and you want me to just give you a car and go get myself a car or go get one in your name get one in my name for you no Mm -mm. (laughs) one day next day he said must have been a magical date i mean it must have been just like lights out like oh my god wedding vows are on the way kind of date yeah i'm sure for him evidently yeah if i if i if i bought him a car i'm pretty sure if i would ask me to marry him <laughs> so yeah i'm sure he just said, should ask for your social and pin number now was there a second date oh no oh I no i ran into him at a bar one night with another girl and i almost said did he ask you your credit score but i was like <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to ruin his date maybe he'll get a car out of her <laughs> Like I get guys should never ask uh, age or weight from a woman, but I think credit score might be up there too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> I mean, it took a year for you to get off this, the, all the, all the platforms and there had to be, you know, outside of, you know, cheesecake factory was a, there had to be another good date out there somewhere. A good date. Oh my God. I've had so many bad dates. Like I had a guy that wanted me to have sex with him in the broad daylight at Chili's parking lot. (laughs) Nothing's more romantic than that. Yeah. The guy asked me to suck his dick right in, in his truck in the very front of a bar parking lot. That was, and these are both after first dates, right? Those are on the first date. Yeah. On the first dates. It's like, you're going to suck my dick. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to suck your dick. (laughs) I'm not a whore. I don't just go out on the first night and just suck some guy's dick. Like, I don't know where that thing's been. (laughs) (laughs) Well, not only that, I mean, like, so, I mean, how does that get presented? I mean, was it really like you guys were kissing and then it's like, Hey, are you going to? Yeah. Yeah. And then. It's so, by the way, there's this thing in the anatomy that I have down. You guys, you want to, no, there was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Straight up. Just ask me. Wow. I mean, that's, 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 if that's not marriage material, I don't know what is. Right. Oh, girl. All right. So tell me, tell me more about the guy we started talking about. How in the hell did you meet him? Oh, the guy with the black box. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Facebook dating. Facebook dating. Okay. And how long were you talking with him before just all fucking hell broke loose? Two weeks. Two, Two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Okay, so you were texting for a while. Yeah. All right. And did it start out with, hey, how you doing? How'd your day go? And gradually get there? Yeah, or he did... was a perfect gentleman. He was, he texted me, we talked and everything. And then like we went on a date. I forget where we went. Jeez. Can't remember now. But <clears throat> he hung out a few times and. Then he just okay. starts telling me, I asked him if he had a fantasy and he asked me and I was like, not really, you know, it's just, I'm not that freaky. I don't like threesomes. I wouldn't do it. Well, you know, and he tells me that he wants me to fuck and fuck black cocks with him, <laughs> with him. And he would love to see my white hand with his wedding ring on my fingers wrapped around a black, big black cock. And that sounds like a. That, that sounds like a marriage proposal. Was this was this his yeah. version of a marriage proposal? I, I think so. It, it was a no, though. I, it was a big no. It was a big no. It was a hard stop right there. Okay. Yeah. It was. It, it was. So it was. I want to get married, but uh, for the honeymoon, I would like. Uh, pretty much, it sounded like a fivesome. Uh, I swear like, he did. He wants me to be in my wedding dress. Uh huh. Once one guy behind me wants me you showing my ring, holding a cock in my mouth. <laughs> Why? And then in between that, he wants me to kiss him. I really hope he doesn't write children's books. I really, I really hope he doesn't do that. I mean, he has got a hell of an imagination for this to come up. Like, I'm sure it's somewhere on Pornhub or something that he that he starts this out. And he's like, gosh, 
I really hope to find somebody one day who I can be my happily ever after that will do all this with me. <laughs> oh, shit. He strictly said it can't be anybody mix. He wants a charcoal black cock, like, in my hand or in my mouth. Oh my he likes gosh. the contrast. He said it's something about the contrast. And, you know, I Googled it and there is such a thing. The contract? Before, is that what you said? Contrast. Oh, the contrast. OK. All right. What's the thing? I don't know what the thing is. Like. I don't know. You got you tell me and I'll know because <clears throat> I Googled it myself, too. And it's a thing that guys have fantasies about. And there's a lot of people that they want their white wives <clears throat> fucking a black guy. Uh, okay, so I see what you're saying. I follow you now. So the contrast of a white woman with a black guy contrast yeah. is almost like it's almost like a foot fetish, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. So when you googled it and like looked it up, you found what did you find? Oh my god, just, it's a thing. Like, yeah, it's just men fantasize about that. Really, all men, yeah. not just black men. Evidently, white men too. Yes. This guy's oh, white. Jesus. I don't like some of the fetishes. Like, I don't understand some of the fetishes, like the foot fetish. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't understand. Now, someone once told me that there was something about that part of the brain that activated, that was also the part that activated the genitalia or something like that. And I was like, well, mm-hmm. I'm glad my, that part of my brain is dead, I guess. I don't know. That, I don't get it. That, that doesn't. And like, there's like, so I imagine there's plenty of sites for it. There's sites for, the the foot fetish stuff there's i I forget what they are but it's like three or four specific to it i imagine there is for the contrast too huh yeah oh man i imagine that there is too oh my gosh yeah it's i mean like like when you guys went out a couple of times you must have had a good time though huh before the tell me about your fantasies came to life yeah we just you know talked about family and you know friends and life and and then boom you seem like somebody other than this you would have dated like if you didn't know this uh, I wouldn't date them if that's what they're into. Like, I just can't. No, but you didn't know that though. Like, yeah. I didn't if, know. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know prior to that. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you took, like, if you took this out of the equation, was he a guy you would have dated? Yes. Okay. I guess that's what I'm saying. So good thing you found out. I mean, for sure. Before I went totally nuts and bizarre. Yeah. Cause I just don't understand why I need to be the middle person. Why don't you just... <laughs> <laughs> but didn't he want to be the middle person too i mean did, did didn't he want yeah. some guy yeah it, it, he, he said, said and that, he told, right? i was like have you ever done this with anybody or you know your ex-wife he goes no my ex-wife went and fucked the black guys from her work without me oh without me. this has got to be some sort of like revenge sex that he's having in his mind i mean maybe maybe not i don't know since she did it without him like he's just like i gotta go show her and i'm gonna get as much as i possibly can yeah Oh, girl. Is that the last straw? Was that when you decided to get off the sites or what else happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, uh, like you tell me you want three dicks in me and uh, oh, no, Mm-mm. that was just enough. Damn. Yeah, Damn. I, have heard it all. I have heard it all, I think. What am I missing? I know there's something else in there I'm missing that has happened. That, like you were like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Like some. Oh, I this, OK, I got another date. OK, so we went um to a concert, Nico Moon concert. Okay. I forget where it was about an hour and a half away. <clears throat> well, this guy, um, you know, he, he takes beer with him and, you know, it's a concert and he smokes some bud. And on the way back, I was like fearing for my life because he's over there falling asleep, driving off the road. <laughs> literally, and, right? Huh? Literally? Yes, literally. And okay. I was like, dude, I was like, you're falling asleep at the wheel. I was like, won't you let me drive? I ain't never let nobody drive my car. I was like, but I'm I'm awake and I'm not falling asleep at the wheel on the highway. Like, I mean, I don't want to die. I want to live to see my kids like, you know, and he just kept doing it. And I was like, my heart was beating out of my chest. You go oh, on a man. date, and you know, you think, oh, this is going to be fun. But right. then you don't know that you're going to be fearing for your life. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 30 so, minutes to get mm-hmm. to us getting home. He, he offered to let me drive. And I was like, we might uh, as well die in the last 30 minutes. I mean, what's the point of me taking over now? How long was the drive? About an hour and a half. He's yeah. just smashed. Like, all right, I'll get you home. Okay. Takes you home, drives off the road, keeps driving halfway. Oh my. So did he just drop you off or did he hope to come in? Oh, he, he got out of the car and walked me up to my door and he left. And the yeah. whole time, the, the date, I, he never held my hand. He never kissed me. He never showed any interest, which is okay. 
because I, I I'm so used to the opposite. Okay. He, and you know, we barely talked the next day because it just was awkward and he sure. almost killed me. So I yeah, deleted that... Facebook and um, never talked again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no shit. I mean like, all right, call. what would it take for you to get back on the apps? Nothing. Yeah. You couldn't pay me. Uh, that's, you could so, not pay. Me. So your, your love at, at, at happily ever after is hopefully hitting you in, in, in the grocery store with a shopping cart. Right. Is that, yes. that's what it's going to have to be. Yeah. And it's going to, Hey, yeah. nice. You know, the old great line, nice melons or something like that. Or, you well, know, if I have grandkids, you know, Oh, your babies are so cute. Oh, they're my grandkids. Oh, got me. I got milf now. <laughs> yeah, you, you graduated. You've gone from milf to I gilf. Did. I mean, that sounds like something out of Lord of the Rings and shit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, my love's out there in the grocery store or shit. I don't know. Your, somewhere. Your, your love might. My job. Let's not lie. Your, your love might be doing 11th grade math right now. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you, you just don't know i mean like if you're if you're running into a 33 year old that's using his corner of his bed to uh do whatever he's doing and then you're running into i don't know guys driving off the side of the road another guy who you had great conversation with it sounded like enough to talk for a couple of weeks who's thinking hey i know let's do a five sum and it's gonna be a four on one i mean like that like you really did like seriously you ran into him uh yeah what was the worst one? I mean, like, I mean, I know they all suck, but like, were you just really on um, Facebook dating or were you on Tinder and, and Bumble too? I was on um, Tinder. I started out with Tinder um, three years ago, four years ago. Okay. Yeah. I've been on Tinder, Bumble, Plenty of Fish, um, Cupid, OK Cupid, um, okay. Facebook dating. OK Cupid was bad, huh? I mean, I thought about getting on, you know, what is it called? Cougars. <laughs> 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 but I didn't want another, I, I didn't want another 33 year old virgin. So, Oh God. Uh, I just think that one. <laughs> look, let's not lie. You know, he sounds like he, he was one of the best though. Like honestly, outside of not wanting, you know, kids and matching up that way or, or wanting kids mm -hmm. or what, what have you, he, he sounded like he might've been the best of the bunch. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. he was in just, I mean, I can't like, I can't imagine what that must've felt like that when you kissed him and he said that, yeah. that had to be rough. I already thinking you don't know how to do the number one thing women love. So this uh, is not <laughs> like, like if you're done after that, bro, like I, like he'd be, I don't know, back in high school when the guy was done before he even got to that point. I mean, that would, mm -hmm. that would take years of, for, that's going to take like whoever is his first and mm -hmm. like who, who knows who it is. Like they're going to have to be extremely patient and naive and not know much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's going to have to find the virgins club. Have a virgin site. Yeah. A virgin yeah. dating site. He's going to need to it. And like, but like, even if they had one though, there'd be like, like, you know, your thirsty dude with, you know, that wanted the, the contrast going on. I mean, like he'd say he was a virgin just to say, Oh yeah, maybe I can train somebody who doesn't know any better, you know, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Be there's crazy. always some. Yeah. Did you ever feel unsafe on a date? To just the one where I almost died. Just where he drove off the road, but not like where you're like, this dude's creepy and he's going to do something to me or anything like that. Yeah, no, I don't Good. think so. Good. Good. Then what's your support system like? I mean, like you got, do you got dick pics? Did you send them out? Did I, did, did I you send like, them out? You're like, Hey friends, let's take a look at this and we all can have yes. a laugh. Yeah, yes. you did. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. I shared my, showed my friends the dick pics. Yes. <laughs> So <laughs> what were their responses? They're like, oh, there she is again. Oh, sending us yeah. this. Or was it like a, a grading scale of like, why don't you try this one? Was it anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It was or... like, what is that? Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever say, is it cold outside or anything? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were all big. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, why do guys do that? And Would I've had guys ask me, was my dick bigger than your ex? And I'm like, why does it matter? I don't ask you if my pussy was tighter than your ex. Like, <laughs> who, a woman just does not care. Like, woman, so why does a man care? <laughs> but, but we shouldn't be all built the same. Like, if we were all built the same, everything would be so much more of a train wreck. Thank God yeah. only one side of the sexual equation cares. For no reason, <laughs> they shouldn't care. Don't believe me. I'm, yeah. I'm totally on board with it. 
but oh my goodness. So you'd get some, you should, how about some of the conversations? Would you share with your girls too? Yes. Yeah. Good. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Did they, do they kind of help you make a uh, light of some of the chaos that's going on? Yes. Like, especially the, the black cock guy, they, they think that he's just on the day on the DL gay and he wants mm-hmm. to be with black guys because the thing is he told me that he's not, he doesn't agree with biracial relationships. Oh, wow. But that he wants his white wife to be fucking black cocks. And they're like, um, that just does not add up. And he's willing to fuck him with you. He just wants you to be the middle person to make it look like he's not gay. That's insane. That's truly mm-hmm. is like, that's really like what that sounds like. That's a hundred percent what that sounds like. He wants to be with a man and a black man at that. And he, he can't reconcile in his mind is what it sounds yeah. like. Or his family will judge him. Yeah. I do have to go back one though. What? The horn, the corner humper guy. Okay. This is weird. So no, I really, what you know, it really killed it for me with him too. He was always talking about how hot my daughter was. Talked oh. about her boobs. Talked about how sexy she was and um, hit her up on messenger asking her for her cell phone number. Oh, and we weren't even no. boyfriend, girlfriend. We weren't even like together. And he was asking my daughter for her phone number. Did he see her through like, uh, like your Facebook profile or something? Yeah. Okay. So he saw yeah. your daughter on Facebook, Facebook, hit her up on that. She must have freaked the hell out. She did. Yeah. Her, yeah. Husband, did. Oh, yeah. her husband too. <laughs> and he knew she was married, I assume. Yes. With kids. Like, I think we've gone beyond the point of red flags and we've graduated to checkered flags. Like this yes. dude, this dude. I mean, not just the fact that he's that, but he just doesn't know what to do when he's talking to somebody, too. I mean, he's got a great woman that he's talking to. But hey, you know what? How's your daughter doing? That's that's going to get the wedding dress every day. Yes. So you're taking a a pledge of celibacy for the rest of your life then? Yes. Yeah. It's not worth the aggravation. Solo. Going Going solo. solo. (laughs) Girl, I don't blame you. I'm glad you shared. Like there's going to be so many people that hear this go, oh yeah, that happened to me too. Oh yeah, good. Thank God I'm not the only one. Oh my God. Right. I can't wait to hear people's stories. Oh girl. All you got to do, like <laughs> if you haven't listened already, they're out there. I mean, I think. Uh, yeah. I've, yeah. I've listened to some of them. I just can't believe it. Like I'm just, just in shock that things like this actually happen. I was in a little bubble. Yeah. Somewhere in there, you got to be like, there's no good guys. Like they're all gone. Like there's none. Right. Yeah. There's none. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't know. They're all just looking or not. They're all, but it feels like so many are just looking to have sex that they forget that, Hey, there's actually some cool like relationships you can build too. Right. That sucks. Thank you for being along for the ride on the swipe wrong podcast, where we take everyday people like you and me telling their everyday stories of their swipe right life. Show is produced by Jay Pelham. He is the host of Pelham place. If you want to reach out to the show and tell us your story, we'd love to hear it. Give us a call. Google voice us at 317-426- Six six one six. Leave your information, and we'll get back to you, or just your story. You can also email us at swipe wrong pod at gmail dot com. We are on Insta, Facebook, TikTok. We're out there. I am Chaos, the host of Chaotic Commentary. You can find me pretty much anywhere that you see me. And next week, the saga continues. Swipe wrong. Swipe wrong. <laughs>